What's going on, family? What's going on? What's going down? What's shaking? Welcome to another episode of Super Black Comic Book Reviews by Jonathan Soule. And I have a classic, I mean, a classic uh, comic that I want to share with y'all. The Prince of Cats by Ronald Wimberly. Okay, The Prince of Cats. Now you're thinking, oh, what's this? Not Superman, Batman. You know, I don't do that. I read black comics. What this brother did was a, a mashup almost. You know how like a steampunk kind of has like, like old and new kind of thing? But what he did was he took Shakespeare's uh, play, uh, Romeo and Juliet, and then he kind of kind of dipped it, dipped it into the deep waters of the 80s, right? You know, uh, you know, hip hop culture kind of a thing. So you have um, and then he and then he added sword play like a <clears throat> like a like a contest. See who's a, the top swordsman. So almost like a samurai Ronin kind of a thing happening. Uh, and then what he does is he he mixes up the the actual language with some ebonics and some you know relevant kinds of stuff in terms of what they were dealing with with the hip hop and everything. So it's like a marvelous book. I mean you've you've got to get as soon as I finish the video I'm gonna buy another one. You got to have this in your collection. You can't even get the hardcover now unless you're willing to pay mad extra. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna be honest with you. This is the paper. You know, I should have got the hard the hardback a year ago. Uh, I hate to say it to you like this, but if you see a book on this channel, you should go buy it because in maybe less than a year, it's going to be hard to find. All right, let's get into it. So, the first things first. I love the the the, the language. I love the typography is gorgeous, but I love the language. Okay, um, Wimberly is I think it's from a DC native. Uh, at least that's the vibration that I get from. Uh, I mean, look at this. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. I was born in Washington uh, Hospital Center, D.C., 1979. So the brother talks about, you know, the influence of hip-hop, blah, blah, blah. So he goes in. He kind of breaks out the, the characters who's in there. You know, I had to go back and listen to Roman and Juliet again just to get the Montagues and the Capulets or whatever, right, and all that kind of stuff. But if you ain't know nothing about that shit, oh, my goodness. Man, if you ain't know nothing about that shit, you're going to see that kind of Funkadelic kind of vibe. The artist that my son told me reminds him of uh, Frank Miller, Batman Begins kind of a thing, or Batman Returns kind of a kind of vibration. Uh, oh, my goodness. These cats, is, okay, you're spray painting somebody else's territory. Uh, you know, you're chasing the cats. They're running and jump. You know, I mean, look at that. Look at that perspective. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're jumping. Uh, the character design is gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, the spreads are off the chain. Oh my gosh! All right. So anyway, so you have the the Montagues, and then you have and then you have T Bolt. T Bolt to me is like the main character, uh, and then of course you have Juliet, and then Romeo appears at some point. Uh, just some of the things that he talks about in this, the, some of the conversations. Uh, let me. I, there was one. There was there was a section of the book that. Oh, so big, big. I'm so excited like this. So weaving throughout this, there's this magazine, right? That kind of gives the dual list. So basically, who are the top swordsmen? And so it's you remember like an Afro samurai where you kind of had to you know fight for the number one headband kind of thing. It's almost like that. And so you're fighting to get on you know get on the list or whatever you know which is here you know what I mean. And so they, they give a you know tell what happened the night before or whatever. And uh, these duel these these duels are bloody. So this is an adult book. When I say adult, I mean like. I would say, like, if my son's 15 on up, I'll give it to him. Because if he sees, you know, <laughs> blood on the dance floor, he's not going to have nightmares or something. You know what I'm saying? You know, that kind of a thing. So uh, so it's, it's that type of vibration. So, uh, so yeah, man. So they have the duels. I mean, the art is just amazing. The, what's, what's beautiful is the attention to detail that Wimberly gives you. Now... I'm an artist, uh, you know, and, and so forth like that. I remember graffiti, you know, back in the day and so forth. I remember friends of mine who shall go nameless, you know. Like, you couldn't always have a... I, I, can, I can't say it without snitching. So I'm just going to say that I remember people doing graffiti. All right, then. Um, there, was one, there, was, there was something in here where the guy was asking him, hey, how do you get your feels so nice? You say, oh, my God, what was that? Oh, my God, what was that? He was talking about how you get your feel so nice. 
And the brother showed him a technique. Oh my God, can I show it to you? Uh, is, it, is it here? Look at this, look at this, look at this. He's like, uh, verily cuz, um, this piece burns, this piece burns the wall. Uh, how do you get your fill so wide and clean? He said, look close, I sliced the cap with the razor blade. Now, I'm pretty sure that's like a real straight up technique. You, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because, you know, that changes the spray and so forth. It's just so much beauty in this book. Oh, my gosh. Now, this is, is this Romeo. No, no, no. This is Patch Patch or whatever. Pick it's, pick it's Piccolo. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. They're, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to show you. Uh, oh, they joning. They joning in this book. It's kind of rude, but... uh. Let's see here. What I'm saying, you know, you had to you had to kill a pig or what? Uh, Y'all preparing that dog for ten minutes, verily. Um, of all the nerve, pardon me, that skinny ass uh, can't bear to wait five minutes to feed itself. Grumpy and olive oil, love child looking. Boop. <laughs> I don't go to that job to instruct thee how to suck a boop. <laughs> and our hot dogs are 100 percent beef. Well, I mean that that makes all the difference. Uh, verily, uh, thy hair is an unintended cigarette. Thy face, uh, the struck match that was <laughs> that lit it. Fake ass gazelle framing the gazelle wearing. Boop. Thy glasses are prescription. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not cool. I mean, what, what are you trying to say? Okay, thy eyes uh, and so thick and squinting, thou couldst see the back of thine own head, and yet thine hairline. Still art so crooked, thy barber must be thine own cross-eyed mama. And then the brother's like, oh, it's like that? <laughs> <laughs> he goes on. But this is like a celebration of culture, y'all. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a celebration. There's some little mature, you know, graphics. That you see little tatas or whatever. You know what I mean? But there's, there's, oh my gosh. I don't know if y'all can see this. So this is the no, this is the no mercy click, right? A no mercy gang, or whatever. You know, fuck it with T bolt. And can y'all see how it's a sneaker on top and it's that little wooden, you know, tack tack shoe on the bottom that you see in some uh some of the Japanese. Oh, oh y'all not ready for this. Y'all not ready for this book. There's this one scene. It, let me see. Does she have her tatas out? I know you can say, Oh my god. All I can tell you, yo, is you got to get this book in your collection. I'm trying to find this one book. This one uh panel. Now, he uses a lot of Shakespeare's stuff. And okay, I think this is okay. All right, let's see here. It says, uh, <clears throat> Let I'll bear not Montague's coals, nor suffer their brazen intimidations to alter the paths I follow on my streets. I bear Coupolet's, I think that's how you say it, Coupolet's brand, and we know no fear. Uh, rapier's tongue would rather, <laughs> let's see. And it says, uh, Rapier's tongue you'd rather brave than suffer prize wound that heals and leaves no scar but memory. You're fucking crazy, T-Bolt, verily. Uh, the loins speak the truth. Uh, the mouth, she lies. The fairest, sex doth, the fairest sex doth secretly admire a villain. Women often criticize the very men they secretly desire, and she hits him in the face with a pillow. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a beautiful, touching moment right there. You know what I mean? And then, you know... Slowly, this is Romeo. So slowly things kind of bubble or whatever. So T Bolt got Romeo's girl and uh, you know, some moves or whatever. Um I, I just I just it's just beautiful. All I can tell you is it's beautiful. Um now this young lady that T Bolt was 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 was, was pillow talking with, she actually runs that newspaper, that community newspaper that does the uh the duelist thing. So um look at this fucking spread, yo. So anyway, so he's running or whatever. He was in a fight with the no with the no click. So she's there, like Peter Parker and stuff. She snaps him. She snaps him again. And then you see him jump over the fence, right? But look at these tongs. And then you see, wow, she's been developing film in the apartment kind of a thing. Look, look at this. Look at this. So there's a lot of different stories going on. Um, he does a wonderful job of melding Ebonics. Uh, which I think is a high, a highest version of the English language, and uh, and uh, and oops, that's too much. And um, you know Shakespeare's Victorian or whatever. 
Um, the character design is awesome. Um, there was a scene in the barbershop, you know, which is really cool. You, you just got to get the book. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to keep this short. Prince of Cats. You, you got to buy this book. It's an art book. It's a wonderful story. And it's a classic. You've got to have this book. All right. John the Soul, John the Soul .com. You can try to find a book here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It might be there. I might bought the last nonsense. You can probably find it there. You can definitely get the PDF. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get this fucking book, all right? JohnTheSoul.com. Check out my site for interviews with artists and uh, in, in the graphic, uh, you know, people in like gaming and uh, voiceover people, people that are tangential to creating this wonderful fantasy world that we all, we all enjoy. All right? Love you guys. Peace out. JohnTheSoul, JohnTheSoul.com. Peace.